potholes. You can't avoid them, and they continue to take a bite out of our tires, our wheels, our cars, our bank accounts. Our sanity. sanity. Some are calling it the pothole pandemic. <laughs> It was, it's huge. It's three feet long. That's a brand new tire. About three to four inches deep. <laughs> this large pothole flanned, sliced, and bent tires. Over the past 24 hours, this large gaping pothole has been flattening tires and frustrating drivers. The real answer is we've got to get funding from Lansing. We are down by $100 million in the last 10 years for what we need for our roadways. This should not be allowed. It's a very, very dangerous spot. You know what's even more incredible than three flat tires and two broken rims? The fact that she didn't get more. I avoid one on the right, and then I run into one on the left. It doesn't matter what the hell you do. To swerve or not to swerve, that's the question. It's caused me to lose four hubcaps. Um, it throws my uh, balance off on my wheels, and this has been going on for a long time. We talk about Michigan, and most people recognize Michigan and our, our branding initiative that's been out there for several years. Uh, it's probably one that's been recognized, uh, probably an award-winning uh, recognition about pure Michigan. Well. We do have a lot of things that are assets that fit into that brand, but one of them is, uh, is not, and that's our roads here in the state of Michigan. I tend to look at it from a former law enforcement perspective, 30 years of being a police officer, 10 of it being the sheriff, and uh, boy, I tell you, why this hasn't been addressed before because of the danger it presents to people uh, has, uh, has been something that really has, uh, has fallen through the cracks, if you will. Our state revenue sharing in the last 10 years, we lost about $35 million and we just can't keep up. We've been doing everything the state has been asking us to do. Collaboration, consolidation, privatization, and we just come to the point where we can't meet ends anymore. And just this past November, we had to ask our residents for a 2.5 millage increase for police, fire, and roads. And thank God they passed that millage, but the state's been They've been adopting, uh, passing their budget on our back, cities, townships, and villages. And here, they come up with a billion dollar surplus. How can they get a surplus when cities, townships, and villages have been cutting expenses and asking our residents for millage increases? Something wrong with that program. This cannot be the new normal. I don't know how many people are out there hearing about the five seasons. I love Michigan because we talk about the four seasons, but now all of a sudden we have a fifth season and have for a while, pothole season. We laugh about it, we joke about it, there's rap songs about it, there's t-shirts about it. In fact, flight crews, crews, when they fly into the airports now, depending on what airline you're in, they will tell people, hope you enjoyed your flight, be careful if you're, you're driving away from the airport here because there are some really dangerous potholes here in the state of Michigan. That is embarrassing. Aside from the dangerous aspect, how embarrassing is that? It's something that really cannot be the new normal. We've got to get rid of this fifth season. But the only way to do that is to put the pressure on our legislators to do something.